A day after upping the ante against the privately owned University of Science and Technology in Meghalaya, the Assam Chief Minister, Mother Biswarma, has said that his government is discussing the possibility of students who graduate from the varsity not being eligible to compete for posts advertised by the Assam government. Now, the Chief Minister had earlier said that students from the university will not be hired because the university resembles Medina and is responsible for what he calls flood jihad. The USTM is a top 200 university under the NIRF, also run by a foundation owned by Mahbubul Hawk, a Bengali Muslim from Assam. And responding to the same, Times Network in an exclusive conversation has spoken with Shah Elom, a journalist who condemned Himanta's report on communal comments. The journalist uh, who have faced the religious comment on him. Uh, Shalom, uh, first of all, uh, CM have mentioned one particular religious comment that you uh, was asking about your religious religion. So, what do you say on this? Uh, Wednesday, there was a uh, not like a press meet, but uh, there was CM come and uh, as like other days, uh, I was asked some a question uh, to, to Mr. CM to uh, about the cutting of his uh, constituency after that uh, he come hyper and ask my name and after that he uh, come to relate at me with uh, mr mahbubul hawk and others and thing and he asked me uh, we will survive or not uh, how can our uh, how can we the samish people uh, in assam can survive or not uh, that, that, that comment from mr cm is uh, very humiliating me on that moment and that particular moment uh, after that i feel uh, Mr. CM uh, takes some it uh, personally and uh, uh, target me with my name and I am just want to say Mr. Uh, CM to that uh, my name is not connected with my question. My name is Sahla. That is the not problem. But hill cutting is the main problem. But uh, CM cannot uh, express his uh, those uh, his meant about the question but uh, what about uh, what the cm said it is very humiliating me and condemning the same congress leader pavan khera condemned the statements and called for the prime minister's intervention listen in i think the prime minister should intervene and take action against his erring chief minister going against the constitution today he's talking about muslim universities Tomorrow he'll attack the Jain universities. Day after he'll attack the Sikh universities. Is this how they want to run the country? We absolutely condemn this mentality and ask the Prime Minister to intervene and control his chief ministers.